Hi everyone and uh, welcome to today's video. Um, something I haven't done in a while and something that I have been meaning to do for a while is uh, just sort of like a, an EDC sort of carry video of uh, what I'm up to using at these at this stage. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I'd get my uh, couple of notebooks and my pencil case and just sort of give you a very quick sort of a tour, a walkthrough of it all, just so you can see what I'm using. Um, I always find these videos inter videos interesting when I watch uh, other people's, so I thought, well, why not give it uh, another go myself after a few months? Things have changed up a little bit, they're always changing. So what I'll do is I'll show you through, then I'll just quickly show you the fountain pens I'm writing with and what I've inked them with. So, let's start, uh, firstly, move these out of the way, we'll do the pencil case last. Um, let's start with this, which is my, uh, what I call my Fodori, which is my little, um, my pocket size or passport size, uh, sort of a Midori traveler's notebook style, or traveler's notebook style uh, book. Um, just a couple of little notepads in there, a little pen loop that I made using a bulldog clip. Um, and this is really handy, uh, obviously, you know, given its size uh, for for traveling, well, traveling around and for getting around on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, handy on the run, traveled around Europe with me, uh, got a couple of scuff marks which I quite like. So I made this myself just out of a little sheet of leather, um, copying the uh, the binding style of uh, the travelers, except putting the, uh, the, the knot uh, on the side, not on the back, which as you'll see on the other one, isn't so much of an issue, but something that I like to keep out of the way. So yeah, that's the, the pocket notebook. Um, at the moment I've got a, a Goulet notebook uh, in there and then a notebook I made myself using rhodia paper uh, just with a, a cardboard stock craft cover uh, stapled and uh, yeah really really handy sort of size good for uh, traveling around next is the actual uh, traveler's notebook which I have now um, obviously I've got the, the sort of large size it's just a bit too big for where the camera is at the moment I wanted things to be sort of nice and uh, close for you guys um, but this is the plain brown leather one, of course. Uh, it's the, the real deal, as you can see. Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Company Japan, made in Thailand. Um, I have four inserts in there at the moment, plus the little zipper pocket, and another one of my Bulldog Clip uh, pen loops, which has a, a Wingsung 3003 in there at the moment. More about that in a minute. Okay, so uh, the setup I have now, I use this instead of my foot well, for my bullet journaling. Now, um, I used to use like the, the typical Leuchtturm uh, and Rhodia dot books. Uh, so, but I burned through them so quickly. I was going through like a Leuchtturm or a Rhodia every two to three months at best, and uh, it just wasn't quite. You know, I, I was having to do so much migrating of my projects that I decided that I needed something that uh, could get the daily lists out of the way. Um, because it was those dailies and those weeklies that would fill up the book, particularly the dailies when each of my daily to-do lists would easily at times be more than a page of, of dot points of things that I needed to accomplish. So it was nice to be able to move into this uh, and use inserts. So... Uh, I have four inserts, as you can see. Once again, I'm using sort of a mix of things, but these ones are the Goulet um, dot Tomo River paper dot notebooks. Um, and uh, like I'll show, I'll find a, a, a sort of an empty page, if you will. So what I've done is I've se separated the pages. This is for the, the first book, which is sort of the, the weekly and the dailies. What I've, I've adapted the system that uh, also so that my dailies would roll over. So instead of having a separate list for each day, a weekly list is actually more than enough, uh, especially when I then carry around the pocket notebook, which has my sort of daily to-do list um, that I need to accomplish on that particular day. So I have a week down the side here, uh, which has seven or eight, if you include the title and the uh, sort of the um, things I need to think about for that particular week. Uh, and then Sorry about that. I had a technical malfunction where I knocked over my tripod. As I was saying, uh, I don't have sort of lots of appointments each day. I have, generally have sort of a few longer 
uh, things, re opera rehearsals and such, which generally last for a few hours as opposed to a half hour meeting here and an hour there. So this is more than enough space for me. And then as I said, then I have the uh, to-do list on this side. Now the, the size of this page allow gives me enough to have two columns of, uh, of things to do. Uh, although rarely I would imagine I would get much more into, you know, sort of into two columns. The second uh, insert then becomes uh, a really sort of handy one because uh, I can then use it to for projects. So these are longer lasting projects. Um, things, you know, I plan up to 18 months ahead. Uh, so the hope is that eventually I will not have to swap these out quite as regularly as uh, I was in the Leuchtturm because the daily pages I can swap those books out uh, as soon as it's full, keeping the projects uh, in here the whole time. Third insert, which um, is a real uh, Midori one. Uh, as you can see, I just use regular rubber bands, um, uh, not the, the Traveller's one. So this is a Traveller's uh, grid book, uh, and it's you, I use this for um, brain dump, basically, quick note taking in meetings and rehearsals and things like that, stuff that doesn't need to be in the daily list or in the longer projects list. And once again, this book is easily replaceable. The final thing I have in here is the currently inked Inky Fingers uh, notebook, which is where I keep track of all the pens I have inked. Um, you know, sort of, this wheat straw paper is fabulous. It's a shame that uh, they're not gonna be continued. I've got a couple of them uh, uh, on hand, which is great. The thing I also carry around is a little chunk of blotter paper, uh, so important, uh, particularly with things like Tomo River where the dry time can be a little, a little bit longer. So that's really a really handy uh, thing to have around. And it all fits so nicely. And I was carrying the Traveler's Notebook uh, anyway, which was made it feel sort of redundant when I had the bullet journal uh, as I was using it just for sort of yeah, quick note taking and brain dumpy sort of moments. Uh, whereas now everything is sort of in the one in the one book. This is the only thing. I really am not a fan. I don't understand why it's not on the spine. I've actually considered punching another hole in the in the spine there uh, to feed it through because I think that, that it sort of gets in the way and it's a little, just a little bit ugly. So yeah, but I love these. I love this system. I love the uh, flexibility of the Traveler's Notebook. Now onto my pencil case. I'm still using, I think, as I think I was last time, the uh, Lead It Lab Smart Fit uh, Compact pencil case. This is a really, really nice little pencil case and perfect uh, for what I like to carry around. I don't carry around heaps of stuff. Um, I don't use stuff out on the road. I use a few pens and a couple of pencils and things like that. So here is what I currently have. Um, so really a very basic sort of setup. Sometimes I carry an extra fountain pen around, uh, but I'm trying to cut down the amount of pens I have inked at any time because I'm just not feeling I'm using them enough. Uh, at one point I was having, you know, sort of 15 to 20 pens inked at a time. I'm trying to keep it to five or six. Uh, you'll see uh, four plus the, the uh, preppy there. Um, so I'll start with the preppy, like the platinum preppy just in the black. Um, super handy, just quick note taker. I like to carry something carry something on me that is black ink and the preppy is just such a reliable pen and because i don't use that regularly they are reliable uh, and capped with that sort of um that secure capping for quite a long time to stay wet um i also have the diplomat aero uh here in the beautiful sunrise orange um it's just such a great pen and one of the best nibs i've that i own i think it's beautiful um it's a medium, I think, I don't know if I can't remember if I said that. Uh, I have this inked with the Colt Pens uh, Die Mine Collaboration Deep Dark Blue, and you'll see it in a minute, it's a really fabulous ink. The other fountain pen I have in here is the Cali Arts Ego, uh, I think it's the Ego 2. Um, very, very nice little pen. Uh, I like the finish on this one, actually. I like the, the blue, and it's uh, matched with Robert Oster Australian Sky Blue, which is a really nice sort of light ink, similar to, say, in a Roshizuku Ama Iro, or uh, it's a little bit lighter than some of the other uh, turquoise, like the Lamy Pacific and things like that. On the other side is where sort of my utility stuff is. This is stuff I use sort of more more regularly, like a Stubolo, um Luminator, uh, highlighter. These are really great. I love the fact that you can see just how much 
uh, I don't want to say ink, I'm not really sure what that would be considered, um, in, left in there. Uh, really great highlighter. I use highlighters a lot, sort of marking up my, my music. I have a couple of um, pencils at the moment. Um, I have the, what have I got here? The Nataraj Platinum Extra Dark uh, 2B and then the Palomino uh, 2B, which is, I think, a really, really classy pencil. I think it writes beautifully um, and it's just, yeah, really fabulous. But I don't think the good thing about these pens is, uh, pencils is I don't mind if I lose them or, you know, they're, they're sort of quite replaceable. The other pencil I have is um, a Palomino Blackwing Volume 73. This is the to uh, T Lake Tahoe edition. Um, you can see the sort of the the, the graphing of the, the lake surf um, surface. Uh, it's a really, really great pencil with the soft graphite. I do like the Palomino soft graphite pencils better than the firmer ones. Uh, and this is a, I think it's a lovely finish. And I keep it uh, capped with the um, Faber-Castell a perfect pencil. Now this is the one that comes with the uh, little sharpener um, in the top. Very very cool. Um, I, I think it's a you know it's a, it's a it's a really cool product. Um, it solves a lot of issues and keeps you know keeps the lead nice and sharp, but also gives you the clip, pencil sharpener included. Really really handy and something that uh, I, I tried the the Blackwing. Uh, whatever they were, I can't remember what they exactly called them, but the, the, the caps for the pencils, they were just not great. They were too tight. They just didn't actually work. Um, then here is a Muji uh, notepad. Uh, really nice paper. I like the Muji paper. I think it's quite fountain pen friendly. And it's always just handy to have just a little notepad sitting there in the, in the back of the book, uh, pencil case. Oh, of course, a rollable pen. Um, we've got the Parker Urban, uh, just with the black. Always handy to have something that's not a fountain pen. It's still nice ink, um, but sort of, yeah, not everyone wants to use a fountain pen all the time. And this is my choice of rollerball until I, I'm, I'm considering trying a Retro 51, but they're not that cheap to get out here in Australia. So it's something I actually have to consider. Just now, we'll just look at the other couple of fountain pens I have sort of in use. As I sort of mentioned earlier, I've got the Wingsung 3003 here, which is inked with Noodler's Heart of Darkness. Probably one of the best black inks on the market. Um, I wouldn't put it in an expensive pen. I don't like. I don't think the Noodler's inks are necessarily the most friendly inks on the market, but it writes well and uh, it's got just enough permanency to, you know, to keep me happy. Uh, and this pen, extra fine, great for the bullet journal or the, the journaling planning system that I use and nice to sort of uh, have a pen that is replaceable, two bucks Australian, including postage with a converter. Uh, if it breaks, if it goes missing, I don't mind. Then I have this little leather sleeve. I, I'm not even sure it's real leather. I'm, it sort of looks a little bit like real leather, but I don't think it really would be. Uh, and it's, I don't have no idea where I got it. I, found it in a drawer when I was looking for a pen sleeve uh, to carry around in my pocket. And at the moment I have the Twisby uh, Precision uh, in there with its misaligned facets, which still bugs the bejeebas out of me. Um, but a really lovely pen inked with uh, Diamine Terracotta. Uh, you'll see all these pens in action in just a quick uh, second. Sturdy pen, nice metal, sort of heavy, good to sort of sit in um, the pocket. And so it sits in the sleeve and that's where it lives. So let's have a quick look at these pens in action. I'll just grab some uh, Rhodia dot pad here and we'll start with the Twisby Precision uh, and sort of, uh, you just see the pens in the ink. So this is Twisby Precision, as I said, it's a medium. And the ink is Diamine Terracotta. And of course, this is from the 150th, first 150th anniversary um, set. Um, cool ink, great color. Uh, and this pen is so super wet and juicy. I just, yeah, I do love the way this pen writes. Then we have the Wing Sun 3003. Extra fine. 
with noodlers Heart of Darkness now another nice like for an extra fine it's quite sort of a, a wet pen and this ink um, works really beautifully in it it's a great daily writing pen great daily writing ink something I'm very happy with next we have the Calliart's Ego I think it's the two someone will be able to help me with that I'm sure uh, and this is a fine I think yes uh, and the ink is Robert Oster Australian sky blue really really lovely bright vibrant blue ink uh, and just yeah really nice on the page um, you know probably a little bit too light for sort of too much sort of professional use but nice to sort of have something there uh, with a bit of color to it next we have one of my as I said one of my absolute favorite pens the diplomat aero now yeah, not a lot needs to be said, really. I mean, you can hear how smooth that nib is. Uh, and the ink is cold pens and diamine. Deep, dark, blue. This is a wet, wet pen with a wet, wet ink. Like, hang on, I'll just do it quick. Like, that is just beautiful. Um, and the colour is great. It's this beautiful, rich, dark uh, blue. It's not quite a blue-black, but it's got just, it's got enough depth uh, to be used in any situation. And in this pen, oh, it's just... Mm, lovely. So, um, just for the sake of the exercise, what I thought I'd do is, seeing as though it's here, get out the old Platinum Preppy, which is a medium 0.5. I have not used this pen in weeks, uh, and let's just see what happens. So, there was a tiniest of sort of little hard starts just there at the beginning on the P. But apart from that, my gosh, it just writes. How these pens that cost so little is quite amazing. You know, they're not the wettest pens. They're, there's nothing fancy about them. There's nothing particularly exciting about the ink. But my word, for, you know, for $3.50 American or whatever it is, it's pretty, pretty special. So that was just a very quick uh, look through what I carry and what I have uh, on me and what I'm using. I hope you found this interesting, and I hope you, uh, if you've got anything interesting you'd like to share about what you carry, please get in touch. It's all, you know, we all do our own thing, and I'd love to see what you're up to and what you're doing, so please get in touch. You can do that either here on this video or on any of the links uh, below, uh, and please feel free to get in touch if you've got any other questions or products you think I should be looking at, or um, if you've got ideas about everyday carry stuff, uh, so this is just sort of pens, paper, and that sort of uh, cap everyday carry. I'm not going to go into, you know, knives and tech and all that sort of stuff. This is just the writing stuff. So thanks for watching and until next time, enjoy your pens and enjoy your writing. See you later.